Mountain Star hosted a fundraising event tonight called Walk with a Child. Tracy Tuesday takes us there. Mountain Star Family Relief Nursery says its mission is to prevent child abuse and neglect through free community support and therapeutic services. Families in the program deal with extreme poverty, housing instability, food insecurities, mental or physical illnesses, incarceration issues, domestic violence, and a history of family violence. So we bring kiddos into therapeutic classrooms. All of these stories really talk about the difference when kids come to us and we're able to really understand what's the trauma they've experienced and how can we help them overcome that and get back on track. And then we work with the parents as well. So we go in and we provide home visiting services to the parents so we can support whatever's happening for that parent, help reduce that stress, connect them to resources in the community that can help them, provide parent education classes to give them, to fill that toolbox up for them. Mountain Star does incredibly important work in our community, supporting families uh, to reduce the to reduce the incidence of child abuse and child neglect. There are so many volunteer opportunities. Um, why pick Mountain Star? Um, I think just because I like being able to help out kids, especially since we're high schoolers. Um, and everyone who like works at Mountain Star is so nice, and it's just fun getting to work with them and do good in the community. The event had a variety of interactive exhibits teaching attendees how chaotic home environments impact a child and later in adulthood and the greater community. Mountain Star's Walk with a Child event was part of a larger Keep Kids Safe campaign, which goes hand in hand with with April being Child Abuse Prevention Month. Well, the goal is to raise about $100,000 by the end of May. Right now, they've raised around $33,000 with $67,000 worth of fundraising to go. If you'd like more information or to donate, go to mtstar.org donate. Tracy Tuesday, News Channel 21.